Hello everyone. In the previous session, we had seen this UI that is first name and last name. Uh, let's you know uh, focus on the other controls uh, with this code only. Okay, so I will uh, resize my form. I'll take this button to lower, and then uh, now I need I need to work on my radio button, right? So I need two radio buttons, and let's uh, you know uh, manipulate that radio button to do something. Okay, so I will drag and drop my radio buttons here. Uh, where exactly it is? Yeah. So I'll say radio button one, and the same way radio button two, and I'll name it to something like a male, and it's going to be female here. So I'll change the text property of this label. So this is going to be a male, and this is going to be female. Okay, this is going to be the simplest example. So this radio button. I'll change the text property. Uh, I think uh, I had missed out. Actually, I shouldn't say male and female. Actually, this is just the gender. Yeah, so this is nothing male and I'll say gender and then I'll change the radio button. I'm sorry, I misinterpret it. Okay, so this is my male and this is going to be female. Okay, so now um, user select. Uh, any of the option and the data that is male and female this text property is going to be you know moved or uh, Passed to this form so for that I need another label right to save the entry from Form 1 to form 2 for the gender entry right so I'll drag it to make a next control that is label 1 for the gender Okay, so now for the code for the sake of this code how exactly I can write the code so just like that we have we have uh, text boxes for the text property in the same way I have radio button so exactly I need okay you see here I need to pass only one data either male or either female is going to be passed from form 1 to form 2 so for that I can take one more string right just like f name and l name I can take another uh, you know variable that that holds or that saves the entry for this radio button so I'll take another uh, you know uh, this what do you call this string yeah so I'll say public static string and I'll say gender it's empty so this gender entry this gender variable is going to save the data from that radio button checked okay so on this button click event I will write some other code and that other code is something like I'll check with the help of if else condition I will say radio button one dot checked okay it is if the radio button one is checked then what I need to do I need to pass my text you know radio button text to some variable same way as we had done in the text boxes so I will say gender equals to radio button one dot text that's easy very easy and in the else condition this is going to be the very simplest example I will simply say gender equals to radio button 2 dot text easy okay that's pretty simple and uh, let's get back to our form 2 and uh, it's back end code and I will simply say L uh, I mean I have to change the property of this label I will say text property I need to find it what okay here so I will say LBL gender okay so now here oh, I'm sorry this is this is text property I need to change the uh, name property where it is yeah so I need to do something here LBL gender now I get back to form 2 and I'll simply write LBL gender dot text and I'll say your gender is and I will say form one dot gender that's easy okay so when I run this you'll see we have our form one here I will say John and I will say Smith for the last name and I'll select the entry as male and when I click on the submit button you'll see here see your first name is John your last name is Smith as we have seen in this form one here and 
we have selected male that's why your gender is male here when I say female here actually I need to close this and when I select female here and when I hit submit button you will see here on the form 2 what is there your first name is John your last name is Smith but that entry is your gender is female right so we have select one of the radio button and the data is passed from form 1 here to form 2 this is the simplest example you can understand how to pass okay so I hope you understand this uh, control uh, now let's uh, understand one more control and that control is going to be picture box let's understand this picture box so I hope you understand uh, this is this is our text box this this both thing are for our text boxes this is for radio button so you had understand three controls here one is your text box one is button one is label and you had seen radio button how to manipulate these controls okay now let's understand picture box okay so I go to my form one here I'll select all these entries and I move it to uh, right and I will drag my picture box here so this is the picture box elongated it okay so now what I what I need to do here picture box so first of all let me take one picture okay so I will I will use this small you know button here for the picture box I'll click it first of all I make this choose image here so I'll choose the image and I will import it import it where is my picture uh, yeah so this is my picture I, I think I don't look like nice but let's just okay so it is not you know viewing properly so what I can do here I can go to this and then size mode I can make it to zoom or you can say auto size so I make it make it zoom okay so now it looks somehow you know uh, good better than the previous one okay so I have picture box loaded over here and now what I need to do I need to pass this picture box to my form 2 how can I do this I cannot use any variable here I cannot do that right just like this we had seen in the text box and you know uh, the radio button we had taken the uh, variable uh, static variable to pass from one uh, form to another form but here I cannot do this so what exactly I can do I can use this constructor here you can see here I have a constructor here form 2 I can use this how exactly I can do this but you are in form 1 right so what exactly be the control which can take this you know uh, which can take this picture box and can save it here so I need another picture box on the form 2 to hold or to grab that picture from form 1 to form 2 I need that entry here right so I will grab the picture box and I will resize it to look nice okay so I have I make it to zoom okay so everything is ready here so I need just you know that code so what I'm gonna do here in my form 2 constructor I'll write some code so here I will say I need to move I need that picture to move or to pass from one form to another another form by the way you can see in the solution explorer I have this resources folder and inside that I got my index.png that is my picture that we had imported okay uh, so now uh, let's write something here picture box picture box and I'll say image so this is picture box dot image it will give you or it will show you the image why it shows you because this form two constructor is have some parameter but you see in my form 2.cs I don't have any you know I don't have any parameters here so I need to pass that parameter uh, I need to pass this parameter in here so what exactly should I write here you see here form 1.cs this image this image part is coming from some, somewhere it says system.windows.forms.picturebox right and this image is actually resides in system dot drawing dot image right it is it is it is resides in system dot drawing so I can simply import that system dot drawing dot image and I will use one variable for that I and uh, now your images you know now your form 2 constructors have some parameters so that will be okay and that resolves the error in form 1 here okay so now what exactly I need I need 
right now your image is there with this i i variable okay your image is residing in this i variable so i can simply write something like this i will say picture box dot i'll say image where is my image is my image is there with this i variable so i'm simply passing that i variable to that pic to this form 2 picture box and now my form 2 holds or grabs that picture that is coming from i and i is coming from form 1 so it's pretty simple form 1 it's uh, saved the image in i variable and then that i variable is saving that image in form 2 picture box that's easy so when i run this you will see when i use my okay so this is the name i'll say mail and when i hit the submit button you will see on the form 2 all data has been loaded precisely that we had seen form 1 picture box is there and picture box is here name and gender is there okay so entries are completely solvable and you can see the you know result okay so this is how you can do or you can pass the data from one form to another form even without any string um, even though if it is a picture okay so uh, constructors are also very helpful uh, i hope you understand it and you will apply this uh, in your project somewhere thank you so much for listening me